60, 60, 60, 60 minutes, okay? I'm just telling you, we've been talking about 60 minutes all year long. I don't know that this was the most disciplined effort we've had, but I know this, nobody can argue with how, how, how much we fight. There's no way you can argue with the effort and the character of the people in this locker room, okay? And that's why we won, all right? Where's Chandler Jones? Yeah! We just keep fighting, right? Don't worry about everybody else. Don't look at the other scores, all that nonsense. Somebody will tell us when it's time to be done, okay? All we gotta do is control our business, okay? Here we go, here we go, here we go! Hey, Raiders on three. One, two, three. Raiders! And so the Raiders win this one 30-20 for <laughs> over the Patriots. Welcome into Raiders game day. Amber Theo Harris along with James Jones and Eric Allen. And it was the former <laughs> Patriot Chandler Jones with a 48-yard fumble recovery for yeah. the win to get the win for Josh McDaniels, another former Patriot, a man that won five rings with the Patriots. He beats his former mentor and friend, Bill Belichick. And man, mm. was this one for the ages and the Raiders needed this one. Oh, in the worst way we needed this one, right? Because all I'm thinking is Tuck rule, tuck rule, tuck Man. rule. You know, yeah. we all have those experiences with the Patriots, and they're all bad. But this one and Chandler Jones ending it was what a fantastic finish. Yeah. Running into the end zone after the interception or from whatever we're going to call it. Just <laughs> opportunity. 48 yards. 48, 48 yards. yards. Looked like 148 yeah. to him. <laughs> but so excited for this football team, in particular Chandler Jones. Finally, when we had to make a play, <laughs> we made a play. And I don't care how the play looked, right? Like they pitching it, tossing it, whatever. But finally, when we had to make a play to win the ball game, we did and won the ball game. Yes, bumper recovery, interception. But what we do know is he got it. He stiff armed him, stiff and he on. went on to the house. Yeah, and we are sitting up here happy, celebrating a Raiders W. But no, this was much needed. Here is what is on tap here on Raiders game day. We're going to have the full game highlights, and you need to stay for all of them. Play Player and coach interviews. We'll be talking to Derek Carr. We're talking to Chandler Jones. And James Jones gives us his offensive spotlight. He's focusing on the wide receivers not named Devontae Adams has stepped up today. EA Spotlight, Amik Robertson. Really great coverage today. And we have our Monday night pick em. That's all coming up here on Raiders Game Day. But let's get to the action at Allegiant Stadium. Two men that have won five Super Bowls together. A lot of love, a lot of respect, and a lot of history. But today they were on opposing sidelines. Raiders first possession. Second and 10, Josh Jacobs getting him started 18 yards through the holes, 18 yard run. Yeah, that's what Josh Jacobs does. Look at him, get skinny. Huh. Let me get on through there. That's why I lead this league in rushing. Big time game right here. He had it going early in this ball game with some nice little runs. Later in the drive, third and four, and Devontae Adams early 11 yard reception, first down Raiders. It's just a matter of who was going to double him because he's going to get doubled all day. It's going to be a linebacker, a corner, and a safety. They were doubling once he came out of the huddle. Got to count for this guy, too. Josh Jacobs, 11-yard catch and run, but a penalty, an eligible man downfield, a call on the lineman. Penalties would be a problem for the Raiders all day long. So they have to settle for a field goal. Daniel Carlson makes it from 49 yards out, and the Raiders lead 3-0 in the first quarter. Let's move ahead a little bit later in the quarter. It's the Patriots' second possession. Uh -oh. Pierre Strong Let's gets go, leveled by Luke Masterson. Young guy. On the screen pass. That's Young how you make it, it happen. That's, That's right. That's how you come downhill, see it happening, come downhill, and make you a tackle right there. Two plays later, Tyquan Thornton, 21 yard reception for the Patriots. First down ball on New England's 44. Very next play, first and 10, Pierre Strong. Again, this is a good young player for the Patriots. 14-yard run, first down Patriots. They're moving the chains. Very next play, they go to the tight end across the middle. Jonu Smith, 13 yards, another first down Patriots. Same drive, Mac Jones. Incomplete pass to Jacoby Myers looking for him in the end zone, but Amik Robertson is called for pass interference. That is a spot of the foul, so it moves up to the two-yard line. And so here we go, third and goal from the one. Mac Jones hits Jacoby Myers in the end zone, but mm -hmm. Bill Belichick called a timeout. Mac mm. Jones we'll take did it. not stop the play, so the touchdown does not count. Mac Jones is not happy about that one. Third and goal from the one. Mac Jones 
looking for there Nelson Aguilar. Nothing. Great defense from Amik Robertson, as we said. EA is going to focus on his coverage uh. a little bit later in our defensive spotlight. So it's incomplete. Uh -oh. Fourth down. Mac Jones Joe. will huffy. <laughs> He's a little huffy. <laughs> Fourth and goal on the one. Mac Jones crosses about. the plane on the quarterback sneak, but a flag on the play. Man, the Patriots shooting themselves in the football yes, start. Are. Kendrick Bourne on that one. No touchdown. So fourth and goal. Nick Folk hits the 24-yard field goal. We have a tied game now at three. And Max says, I had a touchdown, but you call timeout. <laughs> Next Raiders possession. Devontae Adams. Low catch. Yeah. Nine Let yard know. reception. Even though you're doubling me. Yeah, yeah. You still know, be able still to here. You know, still able to get my thing on. Four plays later, third and nine. You get Keelan Colin on the action. 20 Love yard reception, way. first yeah. down Raiders. Love Excellent slide job by DC, yeah. flying right there, finding Cole. I That's wish he would have stayed up on his feet, but we'll take the catch. Big time conversion right there to keep this drive going. Later in the drive, uh -oh. welcome back, Darren yeah. Waller. 25 yard touchdown, yeah. Waller's first game since week five uh. against the Chiefs. Look at That's him. a mismatch yeah. right there. Ooh. Welcome back, <laughs> welcome back, <laughs> welcome back. back. Yeah. Split the safeties, yeah. just a really good move. Off the line of scrimmage, beat the DB much smaller so you can throw it over the top. Difficult position for defensive backs to try and cover a guy like Darren Waller. I love that show, Welcome Back Waller. It was great back <laughs> in the 70s. Hey, Raiders, hey. 10 3, and uh, here we go, Malcolm. Malcolm. Coons. Malcolm Coons with a big play, blocks the punt. That's the Raiders' first block punt. Yes. 134 games. That's going back to. 2014. Yeah, you take advantage of this situation. Anytime you can beat a Bill Belichick's team on special teams, he takes so much pride in his yep. team. He does. Uh, so again, this is humongous because before this, I thought we should have called a timeout mm -hmm. to try and get a score, get but it all that. Yeah, Raiders but take over on the New England 25 yard line of Mac Hollins. Gets a nice little 10 yard grab. Raiders call a timeout three plays later. Mac Hollins. Great yes. pass. Watch by Derek this Carr. throw. Touchdown. Watch this throw from the backside. I mean, it, you're talking about a fastball down and away, so your receiver can't get hurt and the defensive back can't get his hand on it. Look at that. That is great placement on that ball and great confidence in the receiver to be able to come up with it. Absolutely. His or nobody's. Go down there, scoop it up off the turf. That's a great catch. Great catch by too. Matt Collins, but. Can't get no better ball placement than that. Only where he can get it, touchdown, and he said, I'm him. <laughs> Raiders lead 17-3 at the half. First possession Ooh. of Derek Carr, not the way you want to start. The second half intercepted by Kyle Duggar, pick six. And Man. so the Raiders That's lead is this cut special. to seven. This is special, EA, and you play defense, listen, I'll let you talk about it. Listen, this play was made on Wednesday and Thursday. Yep. Looking at that formation, trying to figure out, hey, they're going to try and get him the ball, and you have to be able to break on the ball. And then another big play by the Patriots defense. He's sacked. Derek Carr is by Lawrence Guy. That's a loss of seven yards. Fourth and three. A.J. Cole punt goes 47 yards. But watch Mac Hollins on special teams. Mm. Uh. That's a hey, oh, oh hey, then you, you do the, the you do a little gritty. <laughs> you down there too. That's a two yard line gritty. <laughs> Ain't too many people going 99 yards consistently. I don't care what defense is out there. He does it on offense and on special teams. Patriots first play after the oh. punt. Ramondre Stevenson though you can't let that happen after no, a great can't. a great special teams play. Great field position for the Raiders. 26 yards. He busts free. Ball now up to the 28. Later in the drive, Kevin Harris. Then he. Picks up some yards on the ground. 11 yard run, first down Patriots. First and 10. Remember, I told you about Pierre Strong? Yep. Nice young player, 11 yard run. Yeah, you can Catch tell the Patriots run. really focus on the middle of the football field. This is the first time in like three or four weeks that our interior linemen didn't do a great job of pressing that pocket. Watch this. Denzel Perriman mm -hmm. with the tackle. Stevenson loses five yards on the play. Patriots settle for a field goal. Nick Volk, 47 yard field goal. The Raiders lead 17 13, just a four point game at this point. Fourth quarter. Nervous. Get Raiders nervous right now, up Amber. One point. Huh? We were quite nervous at this point. <laughs> and a delay of game penalty. Yeah. Penalty. A How do you get a delay of game penalty at home? Yeah. It's quiet. A couple of them we have. Second and 12. Derek Carr sacked by Josh Uche, who's having a phenomenal year uh, out of Michigan. What a pass rusher he has been, the reigning defensive player of the week for the AFC. Patriots with the ball, under five left in the game, and he finds Jacoby Myers for 39 yards. Middle of the football field again. 
about uh, 12 to 18 yards deep from the first quarter all the way to the fourth, J.J., they were hitting that consistently. No doubt about it. Excellent hustle right there by D.P., the middle linebacker coming to stop that right there to be able to continue to keep playing defense. But then downhill comes Stevenson, walk in, still got his flags on, touchdown. Now we really worry. 34 yards on that run for the touchdown. Patriots lead 22-17. Yeah, get the combo block up front, then Nelson does a pretty good job getting to the second level and blocking. But again, for the first time in a long time, oh, oh, oh my goodness. Cool. two point conversion. Yeah, you just give respect where respect's due. And that right there off the line of scrimmage, he's been watching the guy on our team, Devontae Adams, because that was barbecue mm. chicken. But here we All come. Right. Mac Raiders Hollins. have the ball back. That was on fourth and ten. A crucial play to Mac Hollins. And again, first and ten. One Fresh set of downs. Go One back to Mac Hollins. Back to back <laughs> Mac first downs. Don't be pointing. Yeah. See 25 point like Second. No, no, no. That's you. Ain't no help Second out here. And four. We got 105 left. Waller in the middle. 20 oh. yards. They're moving the ball. Here's where Derek Carr shines. Second and ten. 37 seconds left. Trust him. Keelan Cole mm. for the touchdown. The Raiders tied the game. Game at 24. Take another look. This one would go to review. That's a catch and that is a throw Man. when you must have it. What does, that feel, what, Jay, what does that feel like? When, when, when Toes you, in when, bounds. What does that feel like, JJ? Man, it's the greatest <laughs> feeling in the world, man. You saying a bunch of stuff in your helmet that can't nobody hear you saying as everybody screaming. But I am the one, and I got us here. Last Ain't no play. better feeling than that. Patriots last play with three seconds left and. Lateral passes. Go okay, down. Oh, my start. goodness. Okay, go down. Go down. Uh, uh, what are uh, you doing? And then. Oh, give me that. Oh, give me that. <laughs> I'll give you that. And get out of my yeah. way. 48 yards to the house. And what a way for the oh, Raiders man. to win a week after a heartbreaking loss. They win in this fashion at home in front of. Look at the black hole right there. Man. I think Chandler is the first guy who misses the tackle. Really? Oh, yes. Ooh. I think he's the first guy well, who missed the tackle. He made up for it on <laughs> you know, that one. 48 yards. Look at those it. big legs going. Yeah. That's a lot of legs going right there. We done yeah. seen a lot of football and watched a lot of football games. This one was crazy to end like this. On a Look at their sideline. Like yeah. oh. I love, I love yeah. their yeah. sideline. I, side I, like <laughs> I just knew he was tired and was going to fall down. I was waiting for the turf monster and everything to get him, but he get got it. up in there <laughs> and the Raiders get the W. Game uh. over. Look at Raider Nation yeah. giving love at home to a team that needed to win big time to stay alive, keeping their playoff hopes alive. Here are the final game statistics. Look, the Raiders, as, as Josh oh McDaniel said, this goodness. was not the most disciplined effort. Look at the difference in rushing. 206 ooh, yards ooh, they gave up on the ground. Uh, lots of penalties. 13 penalties for 90 Amber. yards. Come on now. That's, that's, that's way. That shouldn't be happening. Not in this week late 14, season. 15? Yes, it's week 15. And oh. then look at the red zone, though. Yes. Raiders red zone. 100%. 100%. <laughs> right, the red zone. And go. look at third down. The difference in the look ball at third game. down. That's the Raiders defense came up huge. They gave up just two third down conversions out of 13 that's 15 percent we will take that winning football any, that's, good, that's good math right any, there we, thank <laughs> you I, I was told there would be no math I was a journalism major <laughs> all right so the Raiders get this win and now they do stay alive uh, we do realize a lot of things have to happen yeah. uh, for them to have a chance at the playoffs but we have been talking about one possession games this team has been in 11 one possession games and they have uh, won four now so looking at the playoff picture this is what happened some yeah. some key matchups around the league. Uh, we did see the Chargers win. That's something you want to see. Also, Jacksonville, Jacksonville won, won. And Jacksonville is now in the wild card race. On, with the win over the Dallas Cowboys. And look, the Steelers won. And so the Raiders now go into a cold, gray Christmas Eve game <laughs> to play the Steelers that are feeling good, good about themselves. The Steelers, excuse me, the Las Vegas Raiders are now at 11. Remember I told you the Jacksonville Jaguars are now on the board. They weren't before. They are in the 10th spot. They have a shot. The Patriots fall out of the spot that they had. They yep. were in the 7th spot coming into this game, but the Chargers now move up to the 6th spot. Uh, so you never want to see that with an AFC West divisional rival. But we're saying there's a chance. That is what we're saying. Great there's chance. a chance. And this one feels good. And, feels and the does. Raiders need it. And you know what? Coming up next on Raiders game day, we're going to be talking to the quarterback that leads the league in fourth quarter comebacks. Man, was it one for the ages today. Derek Carr coming up next on Raiders game day. Raiders game day is brought to you by America First Credit Union, the official credit union of the Las Vegas Raiders.
Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, nonstop flights. Book now only at Allegiant.com. Cox, proud partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation, made to chill. The Raiders get it 30 to 24. They improve now to six and eight thanks to a wonderful performance in the fourth quarter by Derek Carr. But he is a fourth quarter kind of guy. Let's bring him in right now. Derek, this is your 28th fourth quarter comeback. You lead the league. Uh, where does this rank, though? I mean, this one ended in a crazy fashion. Yeah, I, my nephews asked me that like a couple, you know, a couple weeks ago. They asked me, what's your favorite one? We're sitting at my dinner table. And we're all talking about some and. I was like, I've never been a part of one like this, so this one might have jumped up there pretty good. That was – I've never seen anything like that. That was crazy. Yeah, this 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 was crazy. I thought they was going to go uh, – Mac Jones was going to tackle him down, but he took it to the crib. But <laughs> just, just talk to us a little bit about the, the game plan, man, because I've seen it was – safety over the top of DA the whole game. And you relied on Mac Hollins, you relied on some of these young dudes to make some plays. Did you say anything to them? Like, hey, man, you see how they playing us? I'm coming to y'all? Yeah, I just I just kept reminding guys, you know, you never know when it's your play. You know, when we talked about that, there's going to be times that we could get it to Tay in certain looks, but uh, when you play the Patriots, you know they want to, you know, take certain people away from you and do all these kind of things, and the other guys have to step up. And uh, as you know, playing them all these years, you know, when it's your time, you have to make the play in that moment. It's going to be contested. It's going to be tight coverage. Uh, and so those guys stepped up when we needed them, uh, you know, for sure. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't everything we wanted, but they stepped up when we needed them. DC, what is that chess match like going against Bill Belichick and that defense, knowing that they're going to take away a couple options? How do you go about it from first quarter to fourth quarter? Yeah, I mean, discipline is the word of the week for us, you know, and, you know, that's one thing I've believed in, and that's one thing Josh said this week when you play, uh, you know, against Coach Belichick, who is arguably the best coach of all time at any level. And, uh, you know, the success that he's had, it's it's a chess match. He, he tries to confuse me, give me different looks and, and certain things, and you have to see through, you know, all the mess to try and figure out the problem. You know, what is it that he's really trying to do? And it's a chess match going on in my brain. I'm as tired mentally right now after the game <laughs> as I am physically. Um, you know, and he that's what he wants. You know, he wants to make it hard on you. And it feels good to finally get a win against him. I, he's he's always been like one of, if not my favorite coaches of all time. So, you know, to, to be able to play against him and lose in the past to get a win this time felt good. And in that uh, final drive for you guys, fourth and ten, you hit the pass to Mac Hollins. And then to go to Keelan Cole, that 30-yard touchdown in the end zone, what was going through your mind as you're looking at all of the reviews? You know that the ruling on the field is a touchdown, but it just feels like, oh, man, the way the season's gone, is it not going to go our way to have that, that call come out and go the Raiders' way? What was going through your head? Favor, you know, it's about time. You know, we needed that. <laughs> I was like another another Raider Patriot game going to a crucial review. You oh know? my goodness! So I was I was hoping, just praying, like, can we can we get this one? You know, I remember we went on a two minute drive. Uh, uh, James remembers we went on a two minute drive my rookie year against New England, and we scored. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, there's a flag and there's a holding, and I'm like. Next play, I bounce it off somebody's, off my receiver's chest, and Vince Wilfolk picks it. I'm like, we're not going out like this, you know. So it feels good to be on this side of it this time. All right, interview over since you brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, man. I know uh, D. Waller was kind of on a pitch count today, but what did it mean to get him back in the offense? We've seen the B-line down the middle of the field. I mean, they had a nickel on him and too small, can't, can't run with D. Waller. Then, you know, when you got to have it, you hit him down, down the seam again for another B-line for about 20-plus yards. What does he mean to this offense when he's healthy and out there? I mean, he's uh, he's a he's a freak, man. You know, the way he can run, how he can block. He's big. He's strong. He can win against corners. He wins against safeties and linebackers. I mean, you guys have seen over the years, you know, my chemistry with him and uh, trying to fit him into this offense now. You know, he's back. He's healthy. Hunter, same thing. Uh, we have Devontae. You know, so we're we're going through a little process of figuring out how to figure it out with everybody else. But to see him back out there running, I after his touchdown, I gave him a hug. I said, "It's good to have you back. Welcome back." <laughs> DC, since you are one of the best at coming back and bring your team back, talk about the mindset that goes into that. Uh, how do you prepare yourself for those situations that come up that the uh, team and, and, and the Raider Nation is relying on you to bring this team back? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I can talk about the things I, I dreamed of as a kid. I'd count down, th you know, three, two, one, and I'd do that for hours outside, throwing the game winner or shooting the shot, you know, just like Kobe, who's my favorite player. But if, if, 
it, it's different in football. I mean, everybody has to do their job right, or you know, it, you know, it's not going to look good, and we're going to lose. So to sit here and act like it's all me, you know, they give me the stat and they give me the record and all that kind of stuff, and I'm thankful for it. Don't get me wrong, but it takes all 11 doing the right thing. Our call, you know, from coach, you know, us executing the play, guys making great catches. Um, you know, James was a part of my first one ever. You know, he Tell caught him. the game winner against the Chiefs, and uh, you know, on a Mickey check uh, versus Cover Zero. So uh, I still remember all of them. Uh, you know, but it takes guys like that to make the plays for you because you can't do it alone in this game. Well, you know, I'm glad uh, somebody remembers it because, uh, you know, Amber, did, Amber <laughs> didn't know that I led the whole league in touchdown I don't one think year. He played in the NFL. I still don't believe he played in the NFL. That was all good. Played the league in touchdown. I think he's full of it. But no, man, <laughs> I asked Chandler Jones the same question. And because beyond the money, and I played with you, you're a brother to me, beyond the money, beyond the fame, anything of that nature, the one thing that you chase is respect from your peers and your teammates, right? And you guys yeah. got together as captains, he said, and said Josh Jacobs needs that C on his chest. You know what I mean? What made you yeah. guys as captains say, hey, man, it's time for that to happen? You know, I've watched him. I've seen him grow up, you know, right before my eyes. Um, I'm so proud of him. Uh, I, I just, what, what he, where he started and where he's at now, um, you know, and the mentality that he's playing with, the violent urgency that he's running with, uh, you know, he's carried us in some games big time, and uh, it's a luxury for me as a quarterback. And so we've seen his progression and we've seen his mentality and all those things from where he was and where he is now. And uh, I'm just so proud of him. We wanted to reward him with that, you know, and Devontae, you know, uh, you know, was the first one to mention it. And it was, there's no hesitation from everyone in the room. All the captains were like, yes, of course. Like, he earned it, he deserves it, and we're going to make that decision for the team. One last question before I let you go. Derek, you guys are, are still in the playoff hunt. You're, you, this win keeps you in it. Uh, do you go into this week with that mentality, with that playoff mentality that we have to win every single game? Yes, we need a little bit of help, uh, but we're very much, we're still in it. Yeah, I mean, we're still in it, but none of it matters unless, you know, we win against the Steelers. And so, you know, we had to win this game. Crazy how it happens. We did. Um, you know, same thing last year. We had to win out our last four to make it. And, um, you know, same thing this year. We understand what, what, what it is, but at the end of the day, it, none of that matters unless we take care of business this week, starting with tonight and our preparation for the Steelers. Well, Derek, y'all took care of business tonight, indeed, against the Patriots. Congratulations on the win, and have a Merry Christmas with your family. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you all. Merry Christmas. Love y'all. Yep. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and so put this one on the board. It is a close game. Yes, the Raiders have been in 11 one-possession games. Uh, I bet that is more than anybody in the NFL. We have to stat check that. Man. But look at uh, the four that they have won. They have won four of those 11. And now we can add week 15 to the list. Remember week 11 against the Broncos? That was the Devontae Adams catch in yeah. overtime. And then week 12 at the Seahawks. That was the Josh Jacobs. Uh, what was that, like 100 and a million mm. yard run yeah, into the end zone? Yep. They beat the Chargers. That one felt good. AFC West. Oh, yeah. Always, matchup. always good. Always feels Real good. Dude. And now but the this Patriots. Woo. And look. This one was sweet. When you start winning those close ones, yes. it becomes yes. contagious. It does. And I'm, and does. I, do it. And I'm glad they got it done, too, because, I mean, y'all couldn't tell, but I don't know oh. two or three gray hairs. Yeah. Man, from this, <laughs> 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 this, one, this one was it's much like, needed yes. to get us back on track yeah. for us to be able to come in here and say, we still have a it, chance. That's right. all we're trying to do. It took a, it, it's okay. taken a while to overcome that. Thursday night debacle. It tough. really has. It's been, it it's been a, very difficult. I don't right. think I'm over yeah. it yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you look at the standings, that's what makes it so tough. Yeah. Right yes. now, they'd be 7-7 seven and seven if they would have mm. won that, but they didn't. Uh, and now they're celebrating on the Las Vegas Strip. They're taking this they win. Are. A lot of well-oiled Raider Nation fans. I'm sure they like, oh, need a lot of sauce to get through that last I'm ending part of the game. Sure. All right, we're going to take a break here on Raiders game day. When we come back, we're going to have a breakdown. James Jones is going to tell us about the receivers not named Devontae Adams that came up big in this win over the Patriots.
Chandler Jones mic'd up on the day that he has the 48 oh, yard man. fumble recovery return for a touchdown that wins the game. The Raiders win this one over the Patriots. And we knew coming into this game, EA, that Bill Belichick always circles your best player and says, This man is not going to beat me. You're going to have to beat me another way. Well, today that man was match. Devontae oh, Adams. Oh, for sure. Everybody needs to double Devontae Adams somehow, some way. <laughs> yeah. Well, they did that, but three other receivers stepped up. And to talk about it, let's send it over to James Jones with our offensive spotlight. What's up, JJ? What's going on? Let's talk about this number one Chandler Jones running like me in my tight jeans but he got there all right <laughs> and we're talking about a win but let's talk about this right because this is the stuff that you're gonna get when you play with Devontae Adams these two guys right here have DA that means somebody else has to win Mac Hollins Cole I don't care who it is somebody else has to win right here we're gonna run this play you're gonna see Mac Hollins he is going to be the guy that gets the one-on-one -on -one coverage as the play goes look at the double team up top and now you free up Mac to be able to work the middle against one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great ball placement by Derek Carr, putting it only to where he can catch the football. This is an elite throw right here, but even a better catch to scoop this off the ground, get it on your body, touch down. But that's what you are going to get one-on-one -on -one coverage when you play with Devontae Adams. That is a big-time play. We've been struggling in the red zone. You need those plays like that. DA, you're going to have safety help over the top. You know what? You take a shot with the one-on-one -on -one coverage to Cole, and he rewards you with a big-time catch. Look at the eyes. Look at the ball in. Secure it. Get the bunions down. If you don't know what bunions <laughs> is, that's your toes. Toe tapper. Get it down. Send this thing into a tie ball game, and it ain't over yet, Raider Nation. We have action, but those are two guys, not named Devontae Adams, that goes up and makes plays for your football team, and that equals getting W's if those guys step up. Back to you, Amber. And take a look at the numbers. There were three receivers that had more receiving yards than Devontae Adams today. Keelan Cole, Darren Weller, Matt Collins all scored touchdowns. Foster Morrow had mm -hmm. two catches and 20 yards even with Darren Waller yes. back. So uh, to have these weapons, you, it's clear that they trust Matt Collins, went to him often, especially in the fourth quarter. But now that Darren Waller and Hunter Renfro are back, there was times today where we saw there was a little rust, and then there was times today where we saw the magic that happens when they're on the field. Yeah, they're going to get those chances, right? Because you have to figure out a way, if you're a defense, to be able to contain Devontae and the running game. So now the mismatches are going to come, particularly with Darren Waller. So it's a safety, your nickel corner, a dime. Who's going to cover him? We saw what happens when you try and put a nickel on him. He's going to be able to be able to strength, be able to get off the press, get downfield. And again, I think when you start talking about Hunter, yeah. Hunter's time is going to come. We're going to need him in the next couple of weeks to be able to defeat that single team in the slot on those third downs. And if you keep trying to take away Devontae Adams double teaming him and you leaving Waller one-on-one -on -one, like you said, we all seen the famous movies Players <laughs> Club. We seen that when Bernie Mac said, you better get up because it's going to be trouble. <laughs> yeah, let's look at the trouble. Let's look at that touchdown. Darren Waller, it was so refreshing to see this yes. because this reminded us of how much Derek Carr historically relies on big body tight end Man. like Darren Waller loves having him in the middle and so important because that safety eyes is, are on the receivers coming across the middle so now you're saying to yourself defensively what I'm going to do how I'm going to cover this big speedy tight end with that speed in that, the middle of the football that's field the equalizer like a lot of tight ends can, can play you've seen the Jason Wittens whoever you want to go to but it ain't been too many of them that can run like Waller. Right. He is a receiver in a tight end's body. So by the time the safeties do see him with that speed, it's too late. <laughs> it's touchdown and it's that. <laughs> he gave him the Devontae. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, coming up next here on Raiders Game Day, we take a look at the defense. Some big performances from various defensive players. And EA is going to break it down in our defensive spotlight on Raiders Game Day. This segment has been brought to you by Twitch. Watch, discover, join in.
Raiders celebrating a 30-24 win over the Patriots and James just one week after the defense took a lot of criticism for the final play against the Rams. They come up big in the final play against the Patriots. They get the game winner, but a lot of individual performances, mm -hmm. especially in coverage. Yeah. And absolutely, they showed out today too on the defense side of the ball. You spoke on it earlier. I mean, to give up only two third down conversions, you said 15 out of 13. That's defensive players making plays. Well done. Helped with time of possession, but it came down to a lot of big plays from the DB and to talk about Amik Robertson. Let's turn it over to EA for our defensive spot. All right, guys. I tell you, I'm excited, right? I'm excited about what we're going to show you here. 2-1 in the house. First of all, you young corners, if you get three by one, which means three receivers on this side and one on that side, and that guy is way over there, expect the inside route, okay? Expect that slant route here. 21 Amik Roberts, going to do a great job protecting that inside. Look at that little shadow shuffle, and then breaks it through the pocket. We'll see it one more time here. Again, yeah. We have to figure out a way to continue to play like this. Amik Roberts on point in the red zone where you need to be. Okay, unlike last week where we're playing inside, he's outside right now. This is a deep ball. He has his head around, focus on the football, watch him work through the pocket. One more time. 2-1, up through the pocket, fighting, clawing, getting that ball out of there. And we know Nelson Aguilar, they used to go one-on-one -on -one last year because Nelson was on our football team. But 2-1 gets the job done, and we had to get the job done against this Patriots receivers because they're not great, so we had to show out. And Amik Roberts took a couple times, had great plays on the ball. We love that. Back to you guys. Taking a look at the defense stepping up here in Week 15, as J.J. just said, 15%. On third down, you will take that any day of the week. What a performance. And then look in the red zone, 0%. Held them to 0% in the red zone. Six pass deflections and five quarterback hits. And that was without Max Crosby mm -hmm. really having a big game. You have to tip your hat to the Patriots. They did a nice job early on yeah. of yes. really containing the pass rush. They yeah. did. It, and and you've seen at times they was chipping them, right. two linemen at him, and they were making sure that he was not going to wreck this game. And that's the Bill Belichick way. Anybody else on the defense except your star player, anybody else on the offense right. except your star player. And that's what he did today, and the other player stepped up. And, Amber, you made a great point because you brought that up. And Always we think about Bill Belichick taking away the offensive guy, but you were right. He did do a great job of saying we're not going to allow – these ends really to affect the football game. They did a great job. So that meant that on the back end, you're going to have more time yeah. to have to read routes and make plays on the ball. And in certain times, they were able to do and that. And not only that, you've seen the Patriots today. One way you eliminate Max Crosby and Chandler Jones, you run the football. Yeah. <laughs> they had 200, 200 yards, on yards the running yeah. the football. So his impact there was limited. Yeah, so the Raiders, as we said, really great on third down. And I keep bringing this up because 15% is abnormally low. I mean, that is it a is. very low number. They did a great job. Lots of three and outs. Got them off the field. And that really helped. This was third and long. Come up and uh, make some tackles. That's coming up. Look at that flying. One, there two, three, four. Look at Max getting in there. And to be honest with you, you bringing that up, it's not rocket science on third down. <laughs> it comes down to one thing, and that's tackling. Yes. If you keep everything in front of you and come down and tackle one-on-one -on -one tackle. tackles, gang tackles, and get the guy down, you're going to get off the football field. They did a really good job today tackling. But they've been right around 30% the last four or five four games. Four games. Have getting to better. Give credit. Getting have better. To give credit to this defense yeah. and Patrick Graham of getting the, the defense, uh, excuse me, the offense, opposing offense, off of the field, and that leads to time of possession battles being yes. won. That was won today. 26 minutes for the Patriots versus 34 minutes for the Raiders. Anytime you win and that uh, difference, you're, you're going to have a chance to win the game if you're it, it holding really, on to the it ball really that does. long. You don't give them second chances mm -hmm. to, to keep their offense on the football field, to develop those plays, have those sequence of plays that are going to hurt you maybe. Okay. And I think when you start thinking about what this football team needs to do, needs to do, needs to play four quarters, which we're able to do today, mm -hmm. meet consistent football. And that's what we saw today, consistency in the football game. No doubt. And they had the dogfight in them. And this was a win for Josh McDaniels. He is now 2-0 and mm. against his former coach. Oh. The, the first win came 10 years ago as head coach of the Denver Broncos. And now here is another well, win. Well, well. Against, against, the man, against the man that he won five rings with. So yeah. let's hear what Josh McDaniels has to say about the win over the Patriots. It is insane, but when he catches it, what do you think? Don't get tackled by the quarterback. I mean, literally, I just was thinking I couldn't, I, you know, it was obviously very um, 
I don't know what the word would be, but I was, I was, you know, once, once Ramondre pitched the ball to Jacoby, you know, I, I figured we'd probably just tackle whoever had it, and then that would, that would be it, and we'd go to overtime. And then when he lateraled the ball, um, I had no idea. You know, it didn't seem like a lateral play to me, you know what I mean, when they handed the ball off to the back. So um, when they handed it to the back, um, I thought, you know, okay, tackle him, go to overtime. And then when I saw the ball up in the air and then I saw Chandler underneath it, I'm thinking, oh, my God, we might, we might have a chance at this. And then when he caught it, I just I saw Mac was back there and um, just hoping that he could avoid, you know, whatever effort that Mac had to tackle him. And then hopefully had enough juice left in his body to get to the end zone. <clears throat> Go ahead. Last drive, uh, the touchdown. Things aren't going well, yep. but he even you know he's got to complete a four, I think a fourth down pass. I mean, you've got to continue the drive. Yep. Can you just talk about that drive? Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, look, in that situation. Everybody in the stadium knows it's you know you're throwing it, and uh, I really give credit to uh, our offensive line at that point. You know, we, you know, uh, Dylan went out, and then we had Hironis in there, and Jordan was playing. You know, quite a bit of snaps today. Uh, he and Hironis. I mean, they hadn't played football. The two of them haven't played in a game since August. You know, so um, I give them a lot of credit for fighting and battling and being able to hang in there in that drive. Gave Derek en enough time to make some throws. Um, uh, I thought Matt Collins, you know, really kind of got us going there on the fourth down play and then had another one. Um, you know, Darren made a good catch down the middle and, and then Keelan, you know, and they were like, like most teams have done. Um, they've paid a lot of, they paid a lot of attention to Devontae, you know, and so I'm um, trying to really avoid him beating them. Um, which they did a pretty good job of that. We had a couple opportunities, but um, I thought our, the other guys really had to come up and step up big, and um, they made the plays they needed to make. So Bill Belichick, now 19 and 19, going way back in history against any of his pupils, assistant coaches that have coached mm -hmm. against him. But that record is 6 and 10 since 2018. Mm. So Josh McDaniels, mm. I guess Belichick's slipping now. <laughs> He's the greatest of all time. He's the greatest of all time. Right? You look it at can't some, beat Josh, though. No. It's, it's it's, hey, it's a great coaching tree. Yeah. You look at some yeah. Mike Vrabel down in Tennessee has beaten yeah. him. Remember Bill O'Brien uh, back in the day. Uh, even his own Matt Patricia, his own offensive coordinator beat him when he was a head coach so look you have to give respect to uh to Bill Belichick but this is have a big to. moment mm -hmm. for Josh McDaniels it's a big moment for this football team coming off of last uh last week's uh, loss you had to find a way to leave this game and hopefully uh this is the kind of game that you can say to yourself man this is the one that really got us going the right way right we're going to play four cores of football which is totally important for this team depending on looking at what has happened in the past uh, for us. So I thought this was a yeah. huge game coming in that it had to be like the signal yeah. of how we can win and how we do win. And as a head coach, this is big time because not only did you beat Bill Belichick, but you found a way to get your team after a tough loss on Thursday yeah. to Bounce come back, back and play like this. And it was all thanks to Chandler Jones in the end. Coming up next, we are going to talk to the Raiders defender who came up big in the final seconds next on Raiders game day. This segment has been brought to you by America First Credit Union, the official credit union of the Las Vegas Raiders. Mac Hollins out on defense. He's all the way back. And Stevenson is inside the 30, flips it back. Stanford band nowhere in sight. Uh oh, it's picked off. Uh oh, oh no. Unbelievable. Oh wow. Incredible. Chandler Jones takes it in and wins the game for the Raiders. Have you ever seen an ending like that? I've never one? seen anything like that. I have no idea why he was doing that. So oh, my Raiders goodness. So the Raiders won 30-24 over the Patriots thanks to a Chandler Jones fumble recovery on the final play. Takes it 48 yards for the game-winning touchdown. And he joins us right now just off the field. Chandler Jones, <laughs> I, I know you probably need a little water. Do you need some oxygen? I mean, 48 yards, that was, that was a long way to go. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually still catching my breath now. And uh, you just said it was 48 yards, but I felt like I ran 100. So uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll catch my breath back by tomorrow morning. 
<laughs> What's up, my brother? JJ here. And just take us through the play. When you got it, <laughs> we all yelling and jumping up and down here, but when you got it, you turned into a running back. You used your stiffy. When you got it, did you think he was gone or did you think he was going to get you? <laughs> Man, I know, you know, during the situation, I know it was a Desperado situation, so I knew to stay back, try to play the, the next pass defender. So uh, when he threw it, I kind of stepped in between uh, Mac Jones and the ball, and I caught it, and I saw Mac just standing there, and he was kind of just on his heels. So I just pushed him into his butt and just kept running. <laughs> the rest of history. I tell you, Chandler, the stiff arm is something that uh, we're all going to kind of view forever. I mean, it was just tremendous <laughs> stiff arm. And then the, the finish there, how does your hamstrings feel right now? Uh, man, did they, did they look like they was tight? They was yeah, tight they did. A little bit when I got <laughs> They hey, did. Hey, at, least I got, at least I crossed the goal line, man. That's all I worry about. Hey, in the, in the video, you actually look like you was picking them up, putting them down, though. You actually look. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> In the uh, video, sometimes it lies. <laughs> Chandler, I'll tell you, that was a battle uh, with, with both you and Max and, and the pass rush and, and the tackles on both sides. Trent Brown did a nice job. Isaiah Wynn did a nice job. On the other side, in the fourth quarter, you started to win those matchups. Uh, what happened there in the fourth quarter that allowed you to really get some more pressure? Yeah, you know, credit to their offensive line. But, you know, late in the game, I think the pass rush became a chess game, you know, setting them up, setting them up with different moves. Uh, there was one time I hit them with a fake spin that kind of got a quarterback hit in the game. But uh, hats off to their line. They did a good job of slide protecting, chipping double team early in the game. So, you know, me and Max couldn't get going. But, uh, you know, when they had to throw the ball and uh, leave me and Max one on one, uh, we tried to capitalize. Really good job by you guys today on third down. I mean, you got, got the ball back to the offense, got those boys off the field. Was that, was that a big emphasis coming into this game? Yeah, just pl playing complementary football. The offense playing for the defense, defense playing for the offense, and, and the special teams. I feel like if we can get on the, uh, all in the same cylinders, uh, if everyone playing for each other, uh, the sky's the limit. Uh, well, how was the week bouncing back from that Rams loss defensively, the meeting rooms onto the game? Was there anything that leadership wise you had to uh, speak up about this week in order if you guys have this kind of uh, output today? Yeah, we just we just had to cross a little bit more T's and, and dot some more I's. Uh, the biggest thing was just discipline. Guys got to stay disciplined. We can't make, uh, you know, penalties that that are that are, you know, uh, that aren't good. I feel like mistakes at this time of the year, they shouldn't be limited, but they should be eliminated. Uh, you have won a Super Bowl ring. You're a member of the Patriots in your past, and so was Josh McDaniels to get this win, to have a former Patriot beat the Patriots, and to get this win for Josh McDaniels as well, a former Patriot coach. Uh, what does that mean for both of you guys? Uh, it was good. I feel like anytime you could get a win against your former team, it's a good feeling. Um, even though me or Josh might not brag about it, uh, in the back of our heads, we're, we're definitely smiling inside. Hey, I got one for you. You guys came together and you voted to put a C on Josh Jacobs' chest. Um, you guys in the locker room, I know what he means to this team, but how did that kind of come together and you guys to say, hey, man, this dude deserves to be up there with us with this C on his chest? Yeah, the captains got together and, uh, you know, they spoke to a few teammates and the captains got together and they made that decision. Um, you know, it, it, it's our team and, and Josh, Josh has been a, a tremendous player for us. I mean, the things that he's done, the toughness that he's shown, um, just, just what he's done all season. I mean, he's so consistent and, uh, you know, I think he definitely deserves to be a captain and definitely be one of our leaders. Yeah, Josh Jacobs had 93 yards on the mm. ground today. Not bad when you know that defense was focusing on him. Chandler Jones, congratulations on the win. I know it feels good in that locker room. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Raiders game day has been brought to you by Twitch. Watch, discover, join in. Credit One Bank, the official credit card of the Raiders. Modelo, a taste that's pure gold, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Big day at Allegiant Stadium. All the stars were out. Kerry King from Slayer. That man rocks out. One of the greatest metal bands of all time. Uh -oh. Hey, there's Kenny Smith. Got those three. We'll talk some hoops. Yeah, get out there with the real fans. Mark Kenny. Wahlberg, <laughs> big time Hollywood actor. And David White, uh -oh. president of the UFC. We got some big fights here. And then T-Pain rocked it out, man. Did he kill it at halftime? Allegiant Stadium was rocking today. All right, time for our Monday night pick -em. We still have the Packers hey. going up against the Rams. I'm taking the Packers. Go, Pat, go. Go, Pat, go. <laughs> go, oh!